hashtag new angle. Hello my lovely vapies, today is vape vlog day. Alright guys, it is time for another vape vlog. Today I have a couple things. I'm gonna start out with the usual e-liquid of the week, shout outs, answering some questions. Then I'm gonna show you some more vlog footage that I did of my day-to-day -day life. I got a couple uh, things of vape mail that I opened up that I'll show. And then we'll go ahead and look at a new e-liquid, just one flavor today. And we're also going to be redrawing the last winner of the giveaway, that the last giveaway I did, which was the bouquet e-liquid line and the V-Park v, -Park v -Box 50 TC mod because the winner was not 18 if you guys remember in that video the winner was somebody by the name of Francesca Aponte now upon messaging her on YouTube to ask her to prove that you're 18 like I always always say in my giveaways that you have to be able to prove to me that you're 18 or you don't get a prize like period point blank there's no way around that and so it turned into this big story where, oh, her husband was using her account, and her she's not 18 yet, but her husband's 23, and they don't actually live together, but... Like, it was, it was not a very believable story, and she changed her username from Francesca Aponte to Francesca and uh, Dylan or Henry or whatever his name was, and so they were like, they were so mad that they weren't going to get their prize that they were going to sue me, but I'm sorry, but um, when you sign up for Google Plus or YouTube, you have to say, you have to agree to the fact that you are the person you say you are, and it's only a one person. You can't share, I mean, people do share accounts, but but you're supposedly not supposed to share and that was like their defense was like oh it's a joint account and there's nothing against having a joint account email or something like that and it was just too fishy for me and I am not going to risk my name sending a prize to somebody's husband but the person who entered was an 18 it just didn't make sense to me and the fact that she said that her husband uses her account but I looked at all her old comments because I can look up comments by username all the comments were like oh that's so pretty oh I love pink oh my favorite co uh, character was Belle because they entered another contest I have a hard time believing that her husband commented those things what are you gonna do you win some you lose some and this time you're not 18 so you don't win and I'm just not I'm not gonna risk it like sorry I mean maybe their outlander story is true and by some chance he commented once with her it just no you don't change your username after you're asked to prove you're 18 and change your username to include somebody else and then assume like no just no it's not happening so we're redrawing because this is my giveaway but did they they said they were gonna sue me for not giving them the prize like go ahead sue me <laughs> because you can't I'm not entered into a contract with any of these giveaways I do them because I want to give back to you guys shit I could keep all that shit myself I could sell it make money I could do whatever I want with the extra stuff that companies send me because they don't say oh do a giveaway for this they just send me multiple of the item and I'm like oh I can do a giveaway so I do it because I want to not because I have to so we do it my ways my channel if you want a different type of giveaway go somewhere else there's plenty of other channels that do all sorts of giveaways and anyway so that's the story of that I just had to get that out of the air so people know why we're redrawing and we're not picking the winners for my channel anniversary giveaway there's five winners that I did with Indoor Smokers and Danielle from the Dab Spot. That will be, those winners will be announced in the next vape vlog. So in this vape vlog, we are announcing a new winner for the Bouquet E-Liquid line, Bouquet, Bouquet, I don't know, uh, and the V-Park uh, V-Box 50 Watt. So stay tuned for that as well. Let's start this vlog. Got that out. I just, it got me going because it's like, you really think you can sue me? <laughs> like, really? <laughs> Anyways, sitting in front of my tree because Christmas is only five days away and I am so excited. I love Christmas. I love Christmas time. Although, I do only leave my tree up through December. I take it down right away. I leave, like, most of my other decorations up through January just because I love decorations. And I don't know about you guys, but when I take down my decorations, my house feels really bare all of a sudden. I'm like, whoa. There's not a lot of stuff in my house. Even though I have decorations all over the walls, it just feels bare, so I like to leave them on as soon as, as, 
as long as possible and then February comes around and I can decorate for Valentine's Day so I'm going that that's the story of my tree my tree is like really crispy I got it the beginning of December I'm keeping it watered and I have tree life but it's a little crispy and like with my dogs and cats the ornaments don't stay on or nothing but whatever I love it anyway I love it. it's festive and I decided since the Christmas is this Friday we're gonna sit by the tree for this week all right oh and another thing this shirt I can't remember where I got it wait hang on I gotta show you guys this isn't all of it can you see it Together we can quit smoking. Yeah, I love this shirt. And I feel so bad right now that I can't actually remember what company sent it to me, but I will put a link, what's the sitch? <laughs> Did you hear my phone? I will put a link below this video where you can go and check out um, this shirt line if you want. They're also sending me e-liquid in a minute. I think I can, I can look real quick because I, I feel bad not saying who sent it to me since they asked to send it to me so I could wear it and, you know, if they get publicity when I wear it because all you guys are seeing it right now. It's how that, how that works, you know. Hang on. I'll find it. Aha! It is from Premium Vape Supply. So that is the shirt that I got. Thanks to Loy Lo. Woo, look at that lighting though. Uh, I don't really know how to pronounce your name, but, um. Thank you so much for the shirt and can't wait to get your e-look. It's really dark, but I didn't want to bring my lighting kit out because I wanted the full effect of the lights of my tree to happen right now. <laughs> so anyways, let's start this vape vlog. So we'll go ahead and start with my e-look of the week. So I looked at Vape Box and the whipped cream flavors and I'm going to say that my favorite from this week was Kilo Cereal Milk and it's already been a favorite and I reviewed it a long time ago, but because I got it in my vape box, I'm going to pick it because I wouldn't actually pick any of those um, whipped cream flavors as my liquid of the week. I actually haven't even vaped any of those only because I have like so much other crap to vape really but they're good flavors nonetheless. Anyway so cereal milk by Kilo. So good. Let's do some questions and shout outs. I know I have a couple questions saved and a couple shout outs so we'll do the shout outs first and get those out of the way because they're all organized. First shout out of the vlog goes to Kitty Blackwell. She says, Tia, you are so lovely and I love your videos. Thank you. I have been smoke free for five weeks today. Now, mind you, this was back in September, the 28th to be exact, of September. So, you five, <laughs> I can't do math, but you are like three months into it. Am I right? You're like more than three months, Kitty Blackwell. Let me know. That's awesome. The rest of her comment goes on to say, I found your channel my first day of vaping and smoked my last cigarette the following morning. Congratulations. So you quit like that? That is freaking awesome. I love, I was not one of those, sadly. I did not quit like that. <laughs> but congratulations nonetheless, Kitty. Next we have Dale Perrin says, Hi, Tia Vape. Love yours and indoor smokers videos. I have not smoked for four months now your video helped me because it shows me what is new and what to get love my cool fire 4 awesome love the cool fire 4 as well and congratulations to you Dale for being four months smoke free again this was back in September next we have Alexis Obel hope I'm saying your last name right <laughs> hi Tia myself and my mom and my dad are all newcomers to the vape fam that's awesome my parents were smokers for 20 plus years and they've already been vaping for a few years but I started vaping to try to and I comment cuts off but I suppose you're saying try to quit smoking and that is so awesome for you your mom and your dad how long have you guys all been smoke free well you said your parents been smoke free for a few years so how long have you been smoke free now that is so awesome keep it up and I love it a family that vapes together stays together oh wait that's not <laughs> you know what I mean that's awesome that you're all vaping Dave Rave 40 says I've been smoking for 27 years and I started vaping five weeks ago and not have not smoked a cigarette I started with the I stick 20 watt but now I have the Kanger Subbox Mini. Ooh, good choice. And congratulations on not smoking cigarettes after smoking for such a long time, part of your life. That is amazing. Let me know what flavor you got right now, Dave Rave 40. I'm not stuffed up, but for some reason the vape only came out of this nostril. I'm only like, kind of, because I just took, I took a walk this morning with Chelsea, um, and it's hardcore snowing outside right now. And it's been snowing all day. It's actually been snowing for a couple days. And so, like, 
that made my nose run so bad it's been a long time since i've walked out in the cold i usually just walk on a treadmill and watch netflix at the same time <laughs> jake the medic says Hello, my lovely Tia. <laughs> uh, been smoke-free for about a month, and watching your vids has really helped tremendously. Thank you. Looking forward to your eyes of Apex review. Ooh, you can tell how old this comment was, because I already done did that review and the one-month update. But congratulations to you, Jake the Medic, for being smoke-free for about a month in September. Justin Dunn says... Oh, there's a question. Oh, that's this vlog. Okay, this, yeah, this is an old comment, too. These all are old comments, so I gotta catch up. But, um, he says, Tia carries. You be just became that much hotter. Yes, I carry. I did a whole video on it. It actually stirred up quite the controversy in the vape world, but I'm okay with my decision, and I stick by it. Yes, I carry a little Sig Sauer. I love it. So you've probably already seen it, Justin. But anyways, he goes on to say, I am 65 days icky stick free today. That's awesome. I quit overnight with the Cool Fire 4 and the Hercules tank. Really digging sauce with a Z. E-juice as of late. That is awesome. Congratulations. You were 65 days then, so you're like, I can't do math. We have established this, guys, but you are, what, close to half a year? That is so awesome. All right, we have Inferno King, six months, tobacco free. My MVP3 Pro with the Atlantis 2 is amazing, and I would never look back. Awesome to hear. Way to go, Inferno King. What flavor are you currently enjoying? As you guys all know, I am still enjoying Pound It by Bonsai Vapor. Literally the best. The best. The best I have ever come across, seriously. All right. Let's see if we can't find some questions. Oh, here we go. Vape Dr. Dan says, Oh my God, Tia, have you seen the new Harry Potter trailer? I know you're a fan, so if you haven't checked it out, Fantastic Beats and where to find them out November of next year. I know! Yay! I'm so excited. Harry Potter spinoff. So this is based like 70 years before the actual Harry Potter story and I am so freaking excited. I've watched it over and over again and like made my friends watch it and made like my family watch it just because it's like, oh, I love it. Take me back to fucking the wizarding world of Harry Potter. I love it. And the Wizarding World of Harry Potter is coming to Hollywood, so I don't actually have to take a whole trip to Florida, which I was dreading, to go to the Harry Potter World, because it's going to be open this year in California, which is not far from me, and I'm going there for my birthday this year in July. I am so excited. VIP tickets and everything. Oh my god, and you guys will have like multiple vlogs of that because there's no way that could fit into one vlog. It's gonna be so magical, like no pun intended. I'm so stoked. Handheld Poetry says, Tia, how do you carry your vaporizers around in your purse? Do you just toss them in there or do you have something like elastic bands to hold them in place? I just toss them in there. Like I said recently in my Kanger Tech knee box, this one right here, update, I literally just chuck them in my purse. Any, like I don't, I like have pockets, but they never even stay in the pockets and I never stay like consistent on putting them in the little pockets that come in my purse. So I just, I just chuck them in there and I have had no leaking issues so far. Thank God, fingers crossed, no leaking issues. Um, I'm sure they have things like accessories that you could use, uh, but as far as me personally, nope. I just chuck them in there. So good. Time for some vlogging on my day-to-day -day basis since you guys really like that and some vape mail. Hope you enjoy. Look guys, I'm doing my own hair and look at my tree. Yay. The lights aren't on actually. But I'm a, my hair stylist made me this conditioner color that I can put in to touch up my hair every time I wash it so it'll stay nice and pink until I go in and have her redo it for me. So um, a lot of you guys asked that if I would just vlog my daily life so I'm going to try this out. It's going to be um, a while until you see this. Like this is, what day is it? It's the 9th. So this is my hair. I'm still wet. I'm not going to blow dry it. After I did the touch up, I really, really like it. My roots never seem to take though. They're pretty resistant. But I actually have to run into town really quick to pick up a vape mail from my P.O. box. Some important vape mail that I need to review soon. So I'm going to head into town really quick and then come back, clean some more, film for today. Look at all the packages we got. Maybe I should do a vape mail video. And include it in the vlog. Here at Grandma's, I'm visiting with my cousin Daisy. I'm going to visit my grandma real quick while I'm in town. What are you hiding? <laughs> Whatever. You look like who? Harry Potter. Harry Potter's the best. 
I put pink in my hair. Look at it. I love it. What? Where? Barely. You can't see it. No, you can't. Girl. Pink. <laughs> smoky pink. <laughs> yeah, I re. I'm trying to do I'm trying to do your homework. Scampy boy. This is his, he's actually my grandma's dog now, but he used to be my dog. So I rescued him. Look, guys, this is. <laughs> Ew, what was I thinking? How do you know how to high five? Scampy. Scampy. High five. High five. Okay. <laughs> Good boy. I taught him how to high five with Cheetos, and that little shit over there is Layla. She's got a bark that'll make you want to rip your ears off. All right, guys, got my Subway sandwich, oven roasted chicken, and visiting mama. <laughs> what? Mama. Say hi. Hi. They miss you. They love you. Mm. I love you. Love you so much. Look, mm, vlogging with no makeup on. My hair looks so good. I just touched it up. Doesn't it look nice, mom? Yeah. You touched it up, what do you mean? I touched it up. Mom hates my pink hair, actually. I don't hate it. She does not approve. I approve. It's pretty. Whatever. <laughs> Vlogging in the store. Just picking up some things for the girls' night tonight. Picking up some dinner. We're having spaghetti, salad, garlic bread, and Chelsea's bringing the desserts. And angel hair pasta. That's the kind of spaghetti noodles I like. I don't like the thick spaghetti noodles. I like the thin. So this is what I get home with. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packages. I'll see if we can't do a quick vape mail opening for the vlog. All right, let's do this. Let's get through all these packages as quickly as possible. Last time I was a bit hungover when I did this, so it was slow going. So let me grab my pocket knife. This is the one I use, and let's begin. Start with the top. We got this bag. The box is crammed full of stuff. Looks like we have, oh, coils for the Heracles. So I'm pretty sure I've got the Heracles tank. Some more coils for it. And some more coils for it. And it looks like maybe there's two in here. Are these the Heracles? Oh wait, maybe they're different. This is the Heracles Plus. Is that is that the one that like everybody talks about? Make a good time. On to the next package. Hmm, smells like some e-liquid. Is there anything in there? Nothing in there. So just making sure there's like no business card or flavor menus. So I've got three bottles. I'm just trying to see like how I can open this and save the bubble wrap. I'm all about that recycle, reuse, reduce. So we got three bottles here. Look at the caps. That's so awesome. Except they're kind of squished from the packaging. What do we got? We got Moo Liquids, Strawberry Milk, Vanilla Almond Milk, ooh, and Banana Milk. Sounds nummy. Mm, pound it, of course. Next, we have, let's see. Oh, I already got these. They sent me two. So this is the Ellie Fog, and I believe I already showed this in a vape mail video last time, because I got this already. So it looks like I have one for a giveaway. And what's this? Uh, E-L-E, I mean. Oh, and I got this too already. I got it in brown leather. This one's the black leather. So, um, wondering why I got two of them. Uh, one for a giveaway, I guess. One set up for when I hit 75,000 subscribers, and that is coming up so quick. So you guys better be ready for that because it's going to be a huge freaking giveaway. I am stoked to get rid of all the extra crap that I have. This is, huh? 
Tia, I really appreciate you sending me juice. Here's a little something for you. It's not much, but I thought it was cute. Hopefully you like it. Trevor, oh my God, this is from the last giveaway winner that I did. I gave away, remember I gave away uh, two of my favorite e-liquids and I actually gave, I actually threw in a, a third bottle. I gave away Milk Plus, Pound It, and Rusty Nails by Rasta Vapors and the Hello Kitty. That was for the, the honor of the Hello Kitty thing that I did. And the winner was Trevor, and he sent me something back. How freaking sweet, and it's pink. Let <laughs> me see what it is. At first I thought it was like a return on the gift, and I was like, no. Like, it didn't go to the right address. Oh, it's something Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty ornament. Look, you guys, it's perfect. I'm gonna put it on my tree. Oh, I'm gonna put it on my tree right now. That's yeah, that's my um, that's my stocking. There's one for Alex, Nevea, Martini, Kana, Thor, D'Artagnan, and Doug. And these all have little cat toys and dog toys in them already. Oh, I'm gonna go put this on my tree right now. So you see her? She's so cute. Thank you so much, Trevor. She's got a little candy cane, a little, oh, it's so cute. Let's go, let's put it on the tree. So my Christmas tree lights aren't on, but I have red and green lights. Here's my Christmas tree. And here's the little ornament. Thank you so much, Trevor, oh. That was so sweet. Okay, on to the next package. Looks like we got, ooh, so exciting. Excited for this one check this out guys so you know I love to show my monthly unboxing of my sample box I did that this last week I have another one here and I actually did a review for them a long long time ago like maybe two years ago I did an unboxing video for oh caught my hair vape box how cool is that so this is my vape box. The last vape box I had, oh yeah, this is the box. So I'm gonna leave it closed for now. But the last one I got from them was a white box. So they changed up their boxes. This is the vape box. This is also an e-liquid subscription box, like sample box. So I'm excited to dive into this. Oh, next we have this big old package from, this is obviously from like China or Japan or something, cause I always get those packages Ooh, from DHL. Wow, tons of boobly wrap. Ooh, the Aurora Mini. Look at that, that's cool. All right, getting down to the final three packages. Oh, a box within a box, my favorite. What is this? Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Boom. This is the Spotlight E-Liquid by none other than Rip Trippers, the man himself. Freaking sweet. How do I open this box? Ooh, there are two bottles in here. We have Peaky Blinders, a decadent cinnamon roll covered from top to bottom in graham cracker crumble smothered in marshmallow fluff and sweet cream then topped off with slight caramel drizzle brought together with subtle notes of mild tobacco. Okay, that sounded amazing all the way up until tobacco, but we'll still try it. Definitely have to try the Manzi liquid. And then we have Rainbow Nuggets. Creamy vanilla ice cream sprinkled with everyone's favorite fruity cereal. Sure to take your taste buds for a spin. Rainbow Nuggets will make you question the way you eat cereal. <sighs> wow. Mm, this one smells really freaking good. That's awesome. Check it out. I got Rip Trimmer's e-liquid in this house. Ooh, that is so cool. I am excited to review those. All right, and then we have this package. Royal Mail, it says. That means it came from, like, the UK, right? Ooh, we got swag, though. Hang on. A, a couple of hats. Oh. <gasps> That'll be one for a giveaway, or both, because I'll just wear one in the video and then give it away. And we got a shirt. Pure Evil, evilvapors.com. Oh my gosh, that's the back, this is the front. Can you guys even see that? I hope you can. Part of the box, which looks like it got a little jumbled in transfer, which is fine as long as all the bottles are good. And we have the Seven Deadly Sins. This one right here is greed. And then we have lust. Ooh, yeah. And then we have, this is not, this is black crack, pure evil. This one has like a pumpkin on it. 
So that's not a seven, <laughs> seven deadly sin. Oh, we have envy. That one is. We have pride. That one is another seven deadly sins. We have gluttony. All about that though. <laughs> Wrath. And the last one of the seven deadly sins is sloth. Lazy. So we have the seven deadly sins, different flavors from pure evil. And then we have black crack. Biggest box for last. Yeah. Oh, that's too big. Mm. I'll just show you. <laughs> Get these all out. So first in that box, we have neighborhood e-liquid. And then we have rehab e-liquid. Interesting. And then we have... Persona, an alter ego juice company. Oh. And lastly, in that box of treats, we have Poet. Oh, oh, it's making an appearance. This is the Poet Electronic Nectar Pursuit of Excellent Taste. And we have four flavors of Poet. I know this is a popular e-liquid. I've seen a lot heard a lot about it so you know guys you guys know how it goes when i have company and friends and get distracted and forget to vlog got my best friends over here yeah my two best friends in the whole wide world and my, my goddaughter nora <laughs> she's so cute yay girls night super fun Woo. 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 <laughs> you see mama over there? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Brother and I worked six days in a row. And so I was busy and like just didn't, me and him didn't really talk. And then I just told, I texted him, I'm like, sorry, I'm being kind of like, distant. But I just like, I don't know, I've just ha been like really busy. <laughs> And tired and and like had a lot going on and just been thinking about stuff and then really like overwhelmed and he's like no worries Chelsea what you gotta do and that's what I'm talking about. Baby no. Oh, I didn't like it. Hey guys, so I'm actually getting ready to go help my grandma with a project again. We've been working on this project for two, well, two freaking years. And so you guys say that you like the daily vlogs. So I'm just going to see. I don't think anything's really exciting going to happen. Um, I might delete this footage. But if something fun happens or it seems worthwhile to put it up to show you guys, I will. So I just thought I'd start the day. I'm actually about to leave and head out there. So... It's kind of slushy and snowy, and I don't like to drive in this weather at all, and I'm terrified, but we'll just go really, really slow. People can go around me if they don't want to go so slow. Getting my grande non fat chai tea latte at Farmer Joe's. Got to support locally. No more Starbucks. Just doing the local. Look at that. You guys see that cookie? It's so cute. I think I'm going to have to get it. Put my chai here at Mama Babe's work. Got to say hi to her and hang out. Until my grandma's ready. Mama! <laughs> and a poo poo. And a poo poos. Hi, Piglet. I have to put my stuff down. I can't. She didn't even want to come to work today. Rooms. They are up a flight of stairs. Okay, so we have basic rooms. They are up a flight of stairs. Okay, so loud, and we have those available. So I'm done at my hanging out with my mom because my grandma is home now and ready for my help. I thought I'd swing by the PO box real quick just to see if I have any bait mail in there, but I'm not really expecting anything. Just want to check since I'm on my way in town. Oh, we got something. Looks like we did get a package from Tesla. I don't know what it could be. Hush. Hush. Oh my goodness. Day 137. No, they aren't. This is them. What are you talking about? Oh, what's this? Uh, other stuff. Oh, okay. This is ours.
All right, guys, so I am home. Oh my God, I am so tired. I've been working for the last like four hours. No, longer than that with my grandma on that project for Christmas. So I'm finally home and I'm editing today's video. It's a sample box video. And look at, look at Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Duh. Like gross, this is so gross. This daily vlogging stuff is not working. What's under my nail though? Just kidding, it looked like something was under my nail. Ew, anyways, um, what was I complaining about? My zits, <laughs> so cute. Um, um, losing my train of thought okay so finally signed the closing papers on my house today and this property that's on i think it's like a, a three-fourths of an acre and this stupid tiny disgusting house that i cannot wait to get rid of but uh and build a new house but so i'm really excited so it's about all to see when i get too excited i just can't i can't even but Super excited, going to celebrate and maybe have a few drinks, maybe not, because I'm trying like to not drink as much anymore, but definitely have to celebrate tonight since we signed the closing papers today and it's just like, oh my god, I feel so adult, like buying my first house and property, what? Who would have thought? But um, yeah, so just keeping you updated on that. I'll show you guys where we go, probably going to go to Mongolian Stir Fry, it's called the Walkabout. Let me know if that's a, a restaurant that is normal like a like a chain i don't think it's a, i don't know if it's a chain but it's a mongolian restaurant and it's stir fry and it's super super good and super expensive um it goes by like the pound and i always get i don't get the noodles with mine but i always get like tons and tons of veggies but it's the sauce that i add that uh, makes it weigh a lot and so because i usually add like almost double of what the recommended sauce flavor is to get all the nice yummy teriyaki flavors i do the teriyaki kind so that's what i'm doing next and i am gonna put makeup on before going out down because i don't honestly i wear like makeup like 80 percent or I don't wear makeup 80% of the time. I wear makeup 20% of the time of my life because it's just too much work and I'm not trying to impress anybody anymore. <laughs> there, threw on a little bit of makeup. Now I don't look like something from 20 Leagues Under the Sea. And we're going out for some Mongolian. I'm so excited. Look, there's my treat. The lights aren't on again. You'll see it with the lights on. Somebody saw her Christmas toy hanging from her stocking, and she got it early. Do you like your toy? You want mom to throw that? No. No. She's like, wow, I'm not going. Oh, hey. head out. Does anybody else's cat do this? Frickin' cats. Vodka, Bailey's salted caramel liqueur, a northwestern French roast coffee topped with whipped cream and drizzled caramel. Mm. Just got done at the walkabout, headed home. Maybe stop by the store and get a movie, some dessert. And it's off, it's always off. I'm gonna fall. I wonder if those shares paid the park. Look at my tongue's red from a candy cane. Well, we're home now, and it's time to relax, back in my comfy clothes, got my vape, chilling, gonna watch Get Hard with Kevin Hart and Will Ferrell. There's my tree, oh, yay. I love it. 
So, thanks for watching this vlog, for following me around today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed that vlogging. It was really fun for me to do that. If you do enjoy it, make sure to comment below and let me know, and I will continue to do it because it's fun for me, and if you guys enjoy it, then I have no problem doing it, but I don't want to, like, continue to do it if you guys are like, this is retarded. <laughs> so let me know. It is time to try out a new e-liquid. I like to do little e-liquid reviews in my vape vlogs when a company only sends me one e-liquid because I cannot make an entire video dedicated to like an entire day of a review for one flavor because it would literally be just like one minute, not even two minutes. I swear they wouldn't even be two minutes outro included. So I have my uh, Troll RDA here right with a coil, a single coil, and I'm going to go ahead and wick it up with some cotton because I can do that and then it'll be a nice and fresh for a new flavor. Making progress. Cut them now, it's time to fold under the wicks. Ta-da, what do you guys think? <laughs> Not bad for an ultra noob, right? Yay. <laughs> Disclaimer, I did not build that coil. And the flavor we are trying today is Slurp <laughs> by Juice. Check out the bottle art. Here it is. Now I haven't looked up the flavor because I'm just going to try and like blind taste test it. See if I can guess what it is. Ooh, this lighting is really dark. I mean, if this is too dark, let me let me know and I'll, I'll bring out the lighting next video. Let's smell it, shall we? Oh, I know what this is. This is Fruit Loops. This is a cereal vape. How did I get another cereal vape? This is straight up. Oh, it smells freaking good too. If anybody else out there has tried this, let me know because it smells amazing. I'm actually really excited to try it now. I gotta wet these wicks hella. Ooh, this is definitely a Max VG. You can always tell by how it wicks up. Because Max VG takes a minocho. Oh, that's harsh. Oh, why is that so harsh? That's straight up harsh. Is that my bad? That can't be the e-liquid. There's no way an e-liquid is going to be that harsh. Holy. <coughs> what the hell? Whoa. So I am getting the flavor. But holy crap, maybe that's a Max PG right there because it's really harsh. And these wicks can't get any wetter. Look, look. Did you see that? Did you see that? There is no way that the wicks can't even hold any more e-liquid. So is the, I'm like, God, is this like noob air? But whoa, I can't, I can't vape that. Let me give it one more shot. But that, that hurts. Um, no, no, um, no. <laughs> wow, that's gonna make me cry. That is really not good. And I feel like it's my fault somehow. Because <laughs> I'm still new to this whole rebuilding thing, but very intense lemon and sugar and um, creamy sort of, but the harshness of the actual hit I just can't. <laughs> Man, I hate giving bad reviews, but it's like, what if it's bad? What if it's me? Should I use my 510 dripping atomizer? It's been giving me so much problems lately, but I feel like that would rule out whether or not it's my fault. Okay, I went and got a brand spanking new 510 dripping atomizer. These are like the beginner testers out there for people who don't know how or do not want to rebuild. You just put a couple drops of the e-liquid in there and you get a couple puffs of the flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on here and turn it way down because these things are above ohm, standard ohm. They come in all different types of ohms, but we're gonna go ahead and try the e-liquid out in here and see how it tastes just to rule out any user error. Here we go with the slurp flavor. Um, it's a little bit less harsh, but it, the harshness is still there, 100%. Now, the reason I feel like it's less harsh is because this isn't sub-ohm. So you're not getting so much. Definitely taste the harshness. Definitely tastes like in the back of my mouth 
kind of Fruit Loops overwhelming lemony flavor, lots of sugar, a little bit of cream, but it's still pretty harsh and I feel like either that's it's just harsh e-liquid or it could be the fact that I have had this e-liquid for a long time, so you know, maybe it's past its prime point, but I always let companies know when they're sending me e-liquid that the review queue I have is a really long wait and so if they didn't feel comfortable, like if they thought that their e-liquid wouldn't be good after a certain amount of time, you know, they would take that into consideration before sending me something that needed to wait that long. Uh, but yeah, one more time. Yeah. It's got a really harsh taste to it. I don't enjoy it. <coughs> oh gosh, yeah, no. One more time. I'm give, holding out hope. I hate giving bad reviews. No. <coughs> nope. Too harsh. So I am on the video where I first announced the giveaway for the Bouquet e Liquid and the V Park. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the comments and- Alright guys, so I have a lot of stuff to- Gonna turn that off. And scroll through- holy crap, how many comments are there? 552 comments on this video. Some of them, of course, mine. But, um, I guess we'll just scroll and scroll and I guess I could just close my eyes, make sure all the comments are loaded. And I guess we'll just pick, um, with, with their eyes closed. That's always so hard because it's like, what if I'm not even picking somebody? And the winner is... Oh, man, this is a really hard last name. Why did I have such a hard last name? I'm just kidding. Cynthia Para... Parma, Parmago, wow, wow, that's, that's really hard to say, Parmagelis, Cynthia, P-R-A-M-A-G-I-O-U-L-I-S, you are the winner, congratulations, hopefully you're watching this video because it's the only place that winners are announced and you will have a message from me in your inbox and or a reply to your comment just because some people like don't know how to check their inboxes which is like it's 2015 almost 2016 how do you not know how to check your inbox um but you are the winner the new winner congratulations and we will be discussing how you can prove you're 18 again you have to be able to prove that you're 18 that means being able to take a picture of your face with your id showing me your birthday and obviously your faces have to be the same so congratulations cynthia you are the winner and don't worry guys if you didn't win i am still announcing so i guess everyone has like a lot longer to enter my channel anniversary giveaway because i'll be announcing those five winners in the next fate vlog that i do sometime sunday Mindy, you know, I'm not very good at keeping on my schedule. So yay, that is it for this vlog. It's kind of a long one. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more views. Check the description box below this video for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter. I also have a Facebook page and I have a second YouTube channel where I upload completely random videos of whatever I feel like. So if you want to see more of me that's not necessarily vaping related, you can check out that channel. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching guys. Five days till Christmas, I'm so excited. But I really am not digging this uh, lighting, so we're probably not going to do this again.